Good morning. Today we're going to service rear disc brake pads on this 2015 Harley Davidson XL 1200 Sportster. So the first thing we want to do is check the quality of the brake fluid. I put the bike on a 2x6 block of wood to get it up as straight as we need. So now I'm going to just unscrew these two Phillips heads. Nice and square, and that's cracked. When you're not square on these Phillips heads, they tend to strip. They're made out of soft metal. So let's just remove that and see what the fluid looks like. Because it wouldn't make sense to do service your brake pads and not even look at this fluid. Sometimes this fluid could be really in bad shape. Like I said, use the proper screwdriver to loosen these these will get stripped they're very delicate as you see all right with that we're gonna move this cap now the rubber part put a new clean paper towel let's be careful we don't know what brake fluid but all I want to do is take a look and as you can see that brake fluid there's no clouds in there it's a 2015 bike you know if it looked murky I would remove this fluid and flush the system but for now let's get to the brake pads the level looks good, everything looks good on it. And do remember, this states the brake fluid you need. Do not mix these brake fluids. This calls for a dot four. You don't want to put a five or a three, you want to put dot four. I'm just gonna place this on here. You can see the way everything fits in place. I want to be able to collapse the pistons in the caliper not tightening it. All I'm doing is placing it in there. I want to be able to collapse the pistons and not have any problems. There will be no restrictions on this side. With that, let's go over to the other side. We just got to make sure we tighten this at the end. Okay, as you see, we got the Holly bags on here. Just give me a minute. I'm going to remove the bags and then we'll proceed forward. As you see, I put a two by six wood block under the kickstand to get me a little more upright. What we will be working on today is this rear caliper. All right, what I'm gonna do now is with some brake cleaner, I'm gonna spray my caliper down and with a little brush, I'm going to do the back too. This little brush helps out a bit. A couple minutes it dries. If you want, you can take some compressed air, but I just let it do its job. Get rid of some of this brake dust. Now our pin for our pads are right here on this model. And like I said, this is different than the 04s, 05s, 07s. This now has a center pin. So with that, it's an eight millimeter. All right, we got our eight millimeter socket with a quarter inch drive. This is our pin right here. There you go. Make sure you're squarely on everything. All right, that's loose. All right, let's remove this pin. All right, you see the pads, you're just gonna push down.
and work them up. There's one. Put that on the floor. Now we got the back one. That slipped pretty easy now that we got the pressure off it. All right. It's a better setup. Now you can feel, you can push this and you really do want, if you're changing the pads, you want these pistons to be collapsed. So just take your time, use the pad as leverage, the inside pad, and there you go. Now, with that cap not totally sealed, that piston right there is all the way in. Let's use this piston on this side. Nice and slow. Now if you look in there with the flashlight, that piston's all the way in. Now you're ready for new pads. But what we're doing is just gonna service these pads. They're fine. As you see, these pads are in great shape. I'm gonna take a wire brush, clean them up. And then we will reinstall. All right. Hit them with the wire brush. What happens is they start to build up the brake dust and it causes a squeak. Okay. That one down. Let's get the other one. Dry it off. Knock off any edges. All right, these lines are your indicators. At a glance, it's a quick way to see if you need new pads. You take a look at it. If this line is almost gone, you need new pads. Plain and simple. So, like I said, we cleaned it up nice. Now we're going to clean up that spring and pin. All right, we just clean it with some... This is 4-0 steel wool. You don't want to... Just don't want to get crazy. Just clean up any rough stuff on here. You'll notice this goes in place and the pin slips through the hole, pushes down on this bracket, which puts tension on your pads, slips totally through, and you're done. This will pivot in place. You will see. I'll show you in a minute. All right, our parts are all clean. Now to reinstall. This is designed so the pads are installed while the caliper stays in place. A lot of people I have noticed will ask me about how to remove this. The only way to remove it is when the wheel is off the bike on Sportsters. We're gonna put in the first pad. A drop in place. You're gonna see now that you got it collapsed, place the pin in there. And there you go. Now you know we got to get this in place. Now you're going to take a close look at this. Because you know it falls. Okay. All right. You see that's the way it goes. You can't put it in. this way because it will not anchor on that bottom. This here anchors on the bottom. You'll see that tab right there, right on the bottom, and drops in place. Now remember what I showed you, that little piece. Now what you want to do, now we see the way that worked. Okay, now we'll put this aside. 
what we want to do is now get the other pad in there. Now you see, that wasn't bad. With our hand in the back, we'll hold the inside one in place. Now let's pull the pin out just so much. But you'll see guys, now place this as we just spoke about. Push down, and you'll feel it. I'm gonna take the quarter inch, eight millimeter, to help push. And you're going to see, okay, pad, make sure that's right. And if you just spot it, it pushed right in place. The spring is all where it needs to be. Now I'm going to put a dab because as you notice it's not covered so you could have a problem with it down the road. This is disc brake grease. All right, you see that? Any extra grease, wipe away, inspect everything. It all looks nice. Never break a line because then you'll have to re bleed them. Service your rear disc brake pads on a 2015 Sportster. Now we got to go around the other side, pump up the pedal so we have brakes, and tighten down the cover. So let's get to the other side. Let's just tighten this master cylinder cover down. Little at a time, little resistance. Go to the back one. Remember, this is a rubber seal on this master cylinder. You do not gotta go crazy. Now what we need to do is to pump up this pedal. You'll see it will be very loose and then it will firm up because we collapsed those pistons in the caliper. It feels like nothing. Pump it a few times. There you go. Now we got a great pedal. Utmost important that you put this brake into action. Ten times, you're good. Solid pedal. Have a great day and ride safe. Thank you for watching.